before you rush to install your first MCP. Pause. Because security researchers just dropped a bombshell. And it's gonna save your entire career. I'm about to show you the tool that's making developers 10 times faster and security teams giving a complete peace of mind. Can I get a little peace? Look, here is what is happening in 2025. Context 7 MCP is absolutely crushing the AI coding game. Developers are saving 10 plus hours a week, getting documentation quality code suggestions, and shipping faster than ever before. But, and this is a big but. Security experts just identified 13 major vector attacks in MCP protocol. So what do you do? Ignore the productivity gains and stay slow? or embrace future by protecting yourself. I'm about to give you both sides of this story because this is how you make smart decisions in 2025. First, let me show you why Context7 MCP is about to change everything. The problem it solves. Your AI assistant is lying to you. Cursor, Claude, all of them. They are giving you code that is old, is from 2022, while you are building in 2025. Context 7 grabs the latest documentation in a real time and feeds it directly into your AI. Here is where it gets real. Security researchers just published findings about MCP Pwned. And it's serious stuff. The 13 attack vectors. Two poisoning, composability chaining, prompt injection, command injection, permission fatigue, data exfiltration, and seven more that could compromise your development environment. This is not theoretical. Security firms are finding actual vulnerabilities in a popular MCP servers. One GitHub MCP server with 14,000 plus stars had a critical vulnerability that allowed unauthorized access. The scary part? MCP servers can chain together, request LLM completions, and access your local system. If one gets compromised, it could cascade through your entire setup. So where does Context7 MCP fit into the security landscape? Context7 is relatively safer, limited attack surface, reputable source, and reduces hallucination attacks. But it is still MCP, which means same protocol risks, permission model, Potential for evolution, supply chain risk. The bottom line, Context 7 is like having a more secure door with a questionable windows. Here is a real talk about competitive advantage in 2025. Option one, stay paranoid. Avoid all MCP servers. Keep debugging hallucinated AI code. Watch competitors. Ship faster, three times faster, ten times faster, and fall behind, but safe. Option two, go all in blind, install every MCP you find, ignore security best practices, get massive productivity gains, and risk catastrophic security breach. Or option three, smart adaption. Use Context 7 MCP with security best practices. Get 80% of the productivity gains with 20% security risks. Monitor security developments and adapt as the landscape evolves. The true, your competitors are already using MCP. The question isn't about whether to adapt it, but how to adapt it safely. Context 7 MCP with proper security measures gives you the speed advantage without the nightmare scenarios. You have three choices right now. Choice one, do nothing and watch your competitors while you debug outdated AI suggestions. Choice two, rush into MCP without understanding the risk and potentially compromise your environment. Or choice three, Implement Context 7 with security framework and get the productivity gains without the security nightmares. So here is what you do right now. 
set up Context 7 MCP in isolated development environment, implement the security monitoring, start using use Context 7 in your prompt, and track your time saving during the next week. And if this saved you from missing out on productivity or walking into security disaster, click the button and subscribe. Now go to the beginning and watch those security attack vectors I mentioned again. I guarantee you, you will catch something you missed that will make you even more secure. Until next time.